Zimbabwe. Welcome to another brand new episode of Big Buy. And with me today, he has promised, is Diana Mabwenya, some kind. Of, um, she's a, a songstress, an artist, and a whole lot of other things. Since the days when we knew it as Evan Groves up to now, she's been in the game and she's been rocking it. Hello, Diana. How are you? Hi, Dave. Kids doing quite a lot of things, farming, etc. Oh, there's so much to unpack. I know. There's so much to unpack. <laughs> um, you, you mentioned about making music. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can start like that. Yeah. Um, tell us what have you been working on lately? Since when? <laughs> uh, you know, since since the lockdown began. You know, since 20, 2019 okay. up to now. Okay. Um, I released an album uh, titled Kubandi Yes. Um, 2021 last year in October. Um, yes, that's the album that I'm writing. I know it is. Um, it was a follow up to the album Toya Mutsuka, which was released um, just before COVID started. So I'm currently working on a new project, which is an EP, um, just about a few tracks, three or four, in on the Kuchipata. Okay. Uh, and, and you know, uh, how, how was the reception on, on the previous album? I am loving um, how people are responding. Kuvapana, maybe let's start. When I kind of switched um, my type of music, of course, Eben Bruce was fine. People loved Eben Bruce. People loved TPG. People loved Diana Sabkangi from, from that era. But I also appreciate uh, the great response which I'm getting from from the Ida Yanakuma Mirudo and Atori Ramzilu Zoka. Gumbadir is here on its own. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's so, awesome. see, speaking of that switch up, you know, a lot of people have been wondering what happened, that transition from Diana from 2 mm. to Mangwenya, mm. that rebranding. What's, what's the story behind it? What inspired you to move? Onto to that, and is Mangwenya like sort of an outer ego, or what exactly <laughs> is, is the story behind that? I, I can say that maybe um, I grew up, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And yes, Mangwenya is an outer ego, it's like two people or two two personalities in one person. Mm -hmm. That's how I can express um, what's going on with me. So we have that. The one who's slaying like this today. <laughs> and then um, we have Mangwenya. Mangwenya is, is the ancient voice, the Bira, yeah, player, the traditional music, culture advocate, artist. So it's a switch. Can be Diana the next day, always switching to Mangwenya, depending on where we will be. Yeah, and, and judging by the reception, I think people are in love with Mangwenya. I don't know. I don't know what she said, but for me, I'm in love with Mangwenya uh, than Diana Sabkani. Oh, wow, interesting. Yeah, but, you know, it's, it's it, like, like what you say, the cultural advocate, she speaks better to, to me as an individual. Than, but you know, everybody has their own preferences. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, you said you're working on a new album. Yes, what can indeed. we expect? Um, the new project is basically more of uh, Mangwenya. We have done quite a number of tracks as Diana. And on Gumbandia Racing, it was a mixture of Diana and Mangwe. So now we are going to focus more on Mangwe and her kind of music. So that's where the idea, the EP is coming from. Even the name Rajo and Chipata. Chipata is, is a place in Jimba. We call it Jimba because Ndobu Shawamba Ndobu. It's, oh, it's a sacred place. Jimba Yese Inonzi. So I'm singing about that. Okay, not me, but Mangoya is singing about that. Mangoya is singing about Zioze, Nika, Zioze, Zioze, spirituality. Yeah, okay. And that's interesting. Still on that, um, how would you describe your writing process? It depends, actually. Um, most times I write in Jimit Kabandi. Yes, And then I also uh, compose songs through close people or what I see in society. Okay. Um, sometimes at a large extent, you're told my songs. 
Sometimes engage uh, other take party writers, people who write music for you. Um, yes, on Gungandi, I engaged um, a guy, and it's a people. Mm -hmm. He's a great songwriter. Um, yeah, he, he did one or two songs on that album. And um, unfortunately, on this coming EP, I don't, um, I don't think I'm going to engage someone to compose because I need to express, um, I need Mangunya to express or I need people to feel what my money are doing. So I saw me learning from even in my life, it does not make sense to yes. not bring the vibe which is trying to to put to the people. All right. Yeah. And um, so does that mean we shouldn't expect any collabs on the upcoming album? On the upcoming album, unfortunately, no. If ever we're going to do a collab, can I as we are? It's probably with we are still at Jewish because um, I, I believe we we share the same vibe. When it comes to to Mira, all right, okay. So, um, to those who didn't know, uh, Mangwena is a Mira artist, and uh, on that, how did you learn to play the Mira? Who um, taught you? And okay, the funny thing is, when I got to my I, I had a dream I was playing here, and when I got to Muka, I say, you know what, I, I like what I saw in the dream. You know, it felt like um, the Shika, Jebu Jebu, Shika. Like it's been a journey from R&D to Afro jazz, and I'm here. I'm saying, Bira, tradition and culture. So I'm gonna get the Shika destination. So somehow I had to fulfill it. If I was going to be a culture and tradition advocate, I had to do things. You know that it's a tradition to me. Things like playing music instruments. It's the main that I'm going to preach about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, alright. And when was that? 2011-2012. That's when I started playing the Mira. Mira, I never think I could play school. It's called the Mira. It's called the Mira. Okay, correct. 15-year-old. And then I, I moved to my age. The Mira, I think I could say. Okay. And you know, in our society, we are mostly a Christian society. Mm -hmm. and. It's a how was it for you? Yeah, I got to tell it was tough. I mean, the stereotype was just terrible. I don't want to lie. It even went uh, as far as you know so those energies now unfortunately is a kind of visa church I say I want to be around faith so, so no you don't know not that church. I I don't respect Christianity Sunday I'm reading is full of worship songs in my house if I want to go to church I'm going to fellowship but Certain churches now, I just don't. I don't know. And our fellows are not going to be able to. I really understand. Yeah. Saka, um, I mean, yes, don't talk about church because I don't have church. What are you going to do? You know, Saka, I don't know what you're going to do. You know, I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do. My spirit just says, uh, maybe just focus on the way you're going to do. You know, she's a bit more than in your own way. Alright. And uh, still on, on, on your spirituality. Mm -hmm. uh, or what? Or it's just an art for you. Is, is, it, is it transformed into more of a religion for you? And to what extent are you into it? Chivan is not a religion. The moment we say Chivan, we are a religion. Tambufana Menesha Trukit of Church. Chivan is a way of life is how we are growing up. It's also makuriro, makariro, seven material. The moment you are not adapted to a religion, to a kind of na mata, mata, na mata, mata tingu. To not mata tingu, that is it. Siri, you na tingu, na mai. 
Dota no yebiu na mat. Yagato siya na ni Makristu mara matira na mitabut. Through Jesus Christ, nditi maritins we mburi kinsa ni wana kumana we. So matcha no zagato siya, but my doctrines are jo akado mo na na because through kute ora and it 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 she that she foods a na mal via the mama channels. That's that's uh, that's very. So we be to answer you. Hey, Masharians, I wish Masharians. Oh, I've seen, I've seen Mashoba. Uh, I've seen people getting into trances, and I'm yes, like, oh my yes. God, what's going on? Yes. For me, it's still a journey. Yeah, and she will up with the minister. But it changed the English city. I don't want to boast and say. And we may need a better make Nando Muru and Spudos. You know, so it's it's a journey. So I'm still also trying to understand what's going on um, spiritually. All right, okay. All right, um that that, that is wonderful. Uh, once again Zimbabwe I'm with Diana uh Mangwenya Sam and we are talking about various issues and she was just explaining to me. Um, your spiritual journey and how your music is helped you connect to your culture. Now, you mentioned something about being a cultural advocate. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? What, what is cultural advocacy about? Okay. In what we, way can you done along those lines? Okay. Uh, we are advocating Tisuzo. One should go back to their roots, right? Muno taka colonize one. Nevatia. Asi ajerepi taka get sinao. So I advocate because so this is who we are as Zimbabweans currently. Up until we go back, what I've I've gone, you know, Kunze, Kunika, Nana Europe. Where are the African countries? When you watch it, you showcase the way they live, their music, their I mean their culture. Jesse Joshua and it. It's so so it can be a time in Zimbabwe. In the I mean, at school, in the niche at school, Mishonga, not all those things. So, those in general advocate for you know what, guys? At Nova Tinoshika, can I I mean, our own identity as as Zimbabweans, as Africans, not Zimbabweans. You know, in, in, in speaking of that, what you know, we are talking to. The, the young generation, uh, I'm not I'm at 2000s or what, they actually don't even have an idea of what okay, you are referring to. Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. Zimbabweans, we are suffering from a diluted identity. Mm -hmm. What would you describe as our original identity? Okay. Um, Mr. Tanga Paput, the reason why I came for the interview today dressed like this was because I want Mono and Fika see me. I'm at 2000, and Fika my lashes mm -hmm. for the to understand, but can any English ones or Jutesh? And I'm preaching, Nyaye putting that into people. Who are not because it's okay, Uno Guna will slay a figure along the matrix. But which is Ziva, Putti, Sikanima Garibu, she does a gambinacy. So I'm trying to preach Putti. You know, it's not good to cut it, so can I go culture to put from any and be to put from any put up with him in a fist. We are not saying that. I just put Garema Pab or what is Putti, you know. We're saying even in the modern day, and it, um, let's carry our identity as as Africans, as Zimbabweans. All right. Okay. And um, what? How have you been spreading that message besides the music? I guess the music has been playing a bigger part, a bigger role, because most of the people know me through music. However, I've also branched into spiritual counseling. I've also helped the list of my first knowledge. <laughs> Not huge, but <laughs> I've got knowledge oh. of that. So I'm trying to run even when they come and it's much consult, but you told them, 
one way, my immune booster and everything. You just preach Kwawari to guys. It's okay to come and take Sumbani. It's okay to come and take Ndorani. You know? I mean, Mukara much much more paracetamol. Eventually, Jaita kidney problem, Jaita ki all those things. It's also Tinimara Ramiri data eater. Why not go back there? Uh, it's sad because you find Kuti. Zimengua, even the colonizers. Vanu Tora my ideas, but Tinimum Shongat no chela. Yet no so taste of my paracetamol and we just like. What's going on? So, Zirina ni kuchengita. Zati, you know. Saka, tilipani ya yoi. You said you're a herbalist. Maka zuwana kukulish. Maka, tuwa ni njuzunga nutiza. Maka zuwa ni njuzunga. Maka zuwa ni njuzunga. Or what, you know, how, how, how did you get that experience into herbs and what? I think kana uine passion. Yes, I'm here. Passionately advocates towards Joe Lord Shikiban. Unotora time me who you go even as further as discovering certain things as well. I took my time, I even went, you know, around Zimbabwe trying to understand Kuti. Um Vano from different countries, sorry, from different towns or provinces. Vanu Itaoje, media, let us say and everything. Besides that, um, I grew up in Dina and we are in the The basic Dora Nisubani, uh, Futa, you know, Shinjakada, Takato Kura, Shimbozi, Chakat, Shinokuna Kaba Chakat, you know, things like Munanja. I now I call it soap network tea. Shinoka must take you so that you guys can all relate because the Abam Naja or Eurasian Shinja, you'll be like, I can't even keep this in my car, you know. But you know, I've even gone as further as modifying these things could be teacher even in powder form. As I'm older in powder form. Lope can you know, my directions. You can keep it even with dashboard and say, I'm taking herbs or end up or gym that dinema I mean dinner airport tea and with everything. So I've taken my time really to study. Even Bushkam, who Namata Wacho, 